Hello everyone and welcome to this session by Edureka. Software testing is one of the most important stages in any software development life cycle because it ensures that your software performs as expected. In today's session, we will discuss manual testing versus automation testing. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest tech content from Edureka. Also, visit the Edureka website for training and certification courses, the link to which is in the description box below. Automation executes a scripted routine with a mechanical accuracy, flawlessly following predefined steps. Whereas, manual testing, like an aligned artist, adopts to an unexpected details of a software behavior, relying on human and exploration. Now, let us take a quick look at the agenda of today's session. First, we will take a look at the two types of testing. What is manual testing and what is automation testing? Following that, we will go through some of the key differences between automation testing and manual testing. After that, our focus will shift to a question, can automation testing replace manual testing? Then, we will take a look at how manual testing works and how automation testing works. Then, we will discuss some of the benefits of manual testing and the limitations of manual testing. Following that, we will see the benefits and the limitation of automation testing. Then, we will discuss when to perform manual testing and when to perform automation testing. And finally, we will determine which approach is the best choice for your business and winding up with a summary. Now, without any further delay, let's get started. What is manual testing? It is a type of testing in which we use our hands to perform testing without the use of any tools. During this testing, testers create test cases for the codes, run the software and provide a final report on the software. Manual testing takes time because humans perform it and there may be possibilities of human error. It is used to find flaws in the developed software application. The testers examine all of the application crucial features. Also, the testers run test cases and generate the test reports without the assistance of automation tools. It is carried out by an experienced tester in order to complete the testing process. Now, we will move on to what is automation testing. It is a type of testing in which we use the tool to perform the testing because it is done with automation tools. It is faster than manual testing and there is no room for human error. It depends completely on pre-scripted tests that runs automatically to compare actual and the expected result. Automation testing assists the testers in determining whether or not the application performs as expected. It enables the performance of repetitive tasks. Automation necessitates manual labor to create initial testing scripts. Now, we will take a look at the manual testing versus automation testing key differences. And our first difference is processing time. Manual testing requires human resources and takes time in general. Whereas, automation testing is significantly faster than directly compared to a manual testing. Next is exploratory testing. In manual testing, testers actually explore the software to find the flaws. Real-time reports enable testers to make decisions. Whereas in automation testing, which does not allow exploratory testing or random testing, ideal for repeatable and predefined circumferences. Next is initial investment. Human resources must be invested when performing manual testing. Smaller projects or projects with frequently changes requirements are generally more cost efficient. The initial setup costs are less. Whereas in automation testing, we require a huge amount of investment. Initial setup cost and the tool licensing can be costly. Now we will move on to reliability. Manual testing will be less accurate due to its possibility of human error. While as automation testing is more dependable because the tools and the scripts carries it out. Next is the UI changes. Manual tester visually inspects the application user interface for changes. They rely on their ability to observe the changes in layout, color, font and other visual elements. As they actively interact with the application, manual testers can easily adopt to UI changes. Whereas, automation scripts are frequently sensitive to UI changes, especially if they rely on locators that can affect the UI changes. For example, XPath CSS selectors. 
Locating devices are used by automation testers to identify and interact with the UI elements. Next is execution. Human testers execute test cases without the use of automation tools. Testers interact with the software user interface, enter data and monitor the result. Test cases are executed using automation testing tools and scripts. Tools are used to stimulate user interactions, validate data and generate test reports. Next is resource requirement. Manual testers with domain knowledge, attention to details and the ability to manually execute the test cases. Testers must be knowledgeable about the testing methodology, test case design and the reporting. Access to various test environment for modeling real world conditions. Whereas automation testing takes up automation tools and trained employees. The automation framework is designed, developed and maintained by an individual depending upon the automation tools, ability in programming language such as Java, Python and the others are required. Next is performance testing. Performance testing is not possible with manual testing. Performance testing is difficult to do manually. On the other side, performance tests include load, spark, stress and other types can only be carried out by automation tools. Moving on to programming knowledge. Manual testing does not require programming knowledge. User must be able to imitate user behavior and create test plans that covers all the scenarios. On the other side, programming knowledge is required for automation testing. User must be highly skilled in programming and scripting in order to build test cases and automate many other scenarios as possible. And the last difference is use in DevOps. Manual testing reduces efficiency and determines the automated build principle of DevOps. Whereas, automation testing is used for the development of verification and testing, which is the essential component of the DevOps lifecycle. We will move on to, can automation testing replace manual testing? Automation testing cannot replace manual testing. Both manual and automation testing are required. Manual testing is beneficial for complex test cases. For simple and repeatable tests, automation testing is preferred. The goal of test automation is to assist testers in performing tests more quickly. However, it will not be able to replace a human. Now, let us try to understand with a small example. Assume you are walking from office to your home and it will take 30 minutes. However, you can get there in 2 minutes by car. The car will help you get there faster and save a lot of time. However, you still require a human driver. In contrast to automation testing, it can be used to test the majority of your repetitive and boring test, saving you time and energy. It enables you to focus on testing the most important features. Now, we will move on to the discussion, how does manual testing work? Manual testing is a process in which a human testers execute the test cases without the use of any automation tools. Here are some of the steps of how manual testing work. First one is define objective in test planning. Understand the test objective, scope and standards. Develop a test strategy that outlines the testing approach, resource and schedules. Next is design of test cases. Create a test case based on the requirements, function, specification and design documents. Perhaps the test data needs to execute the test cases. Next is test execution. Manual test execution follows the steps outlined in the test plan to manually execute test cases. Next is defect identification. Identify and document defects or issues discovered during testing. Reporting bugs. Keep detailed defect reports including steps to reproduce, screenshot and any other information. User experiences. Assess the application user interface, user experiences and overall usability. Finally, test closure. Generate the test summary reporting summarizing the test activities, results and any other outstanding issues. Based on the testing result, Provide feedbacks to the development team. Now, we will move on to how does automation testing work. Organization will use framework to implement test automation. 
which will include standard and testing tools. A good automation framework includes coding standard, test data handling method, object database, methods of storing test results, information on utilizing external resources. Here's a rundown of how automation testing work. Automation tool selection. Select an automation testing tool based on the application technology stack, testing requirements, and team expertise. Selenium, JUnit, TestNG, and other popular tools are being available. Test planning. Plan the scope of the automation testing, including the features, functionalities, and scenarios to be automated. Create a thorough test plan that outlines the test strategies and objective. Next is design of test case. Create test case that covers various aspects of the application, such as functionality, performance, security, and usability. Next is script development. Create automation script in the scripting or programming language of your choice. For example, Java, Python, C Sharp. These scripting specifies how an automation tool would interact with the application user interface or APIs. Next is execution of test case. Run the automation script to run the test case. The automation tool interacts with the application in the same way that a human tester would, entering data, clicking on buttons, and confirming results. Last is verification and validation. The automation tool compares the actual and the expected test results. Defects or issues are defined as error or failures. Now, we will discuss about the benefits of manual testing. First one is flexibility. Manual testing allows testers to explore the application dynamically, adopting their approach based on the real-time observation and changes. Next is earlier feedback. Manual testing is effective in the earlier stages of the development, when the application is not yet stable and a detailed test case is still to be defined. Next is easy hiring. In manual testing, anyone can test, so it helps with easy hiring. Next, immediate bug detection. Testers can identify and report issues during test execution, allowing for earlier bug detection. And the last one is one-time test. For tests that are performed infrequently are also complex to be automated efficiently, manual testing is frequently an acceptable choice. Now, we will take a look at the limitation of manual testing. First one is human error. Human testers are capable of errors and the accuracy of test execution may vary between individuals. Next is limited test example. Testing all possible scenarios manually may not be challenging, resulting in the potential gap in the test coverage. Next is unnecessary task. Tasks that require repeating the same set of action can be monotonous, and the error occurs when performed manually. Next is concurrent testing difficulties. Concurrent testing on different parts of the application at the same time may require a large number of testing team, adding a level of detail. Next is performance testing difficulties. Conducting performance and load testing manually with a large number of users can be difficult and it is better suitable for automation. Now, we will take a look at the benefits of automation testing. First one is faster execution. Automated test runs much faster than manual testers, allowing for immediate feedback on the quality of the application. Next is parallel execution. Automation enables the execution of multiple test cases in parallel, reducing testing time even further. Next is easy of script maintenance. Automation scripts are easy to upload and maintain than manual test cases, especially when dealing with application changes. Reduce human error. The results are more accurate because automated test eliminates the risk of human error associated with the manual testing. Finally, Isolation from changes in the testing environment. Automated tests are less affected by changes in the testing environment, ensuring inline test execution. Now, we will discuss about the limitation of automation testing. First one is complex scenarios. It can be difficult to automate tests for highly complex scenarios, particularly those that require human-like decision making. Next is environment dependency. Because automated tests are often depending upon a specific test environments, running them in different environment may result in false positivity or negativity. Next is not false proof. Automation tests have limitations and errors in automated tests can result in mistakes and omission. Next, 
non ugi application automation is less effective for application that do not use graphical user interface and rely on back end process and the last one is trained employees are required trained employees with the programming language and testing knowledge are needed to conduct automated test now we will discuss about when to perform manual testing first one is short term projects it is not recommended to invest more money and effort in setting up a short term project that focus on major features because such setup will necessitate a specific amount of effort and money next is when testing end user usability if the application provides a satisfactory user journey human can use their sense to understand the application behavior no machine can do this task as well as human next is uat user acceptance testing Manual testing allows end user to interact with the application and ensure that it meets their needs before it is released to the public. And the last one is software that is highly customized. Manual testing allows for a customized and context specific approaches of testing scenarios that standard automation script may not cover. Now we will discuss when to perform automation testing. When it is necessary to run unnecessary task Automated tests are the best option when it requires to run omitted test. For example, regression test must be run on regular basis to ensure that the newly added code does not interrupt with the software existing functionality. Next, when human resources are in short supply. When there is a limited number of testers, automated tests are visible and are the best option for getting test completed within the deadlines. Next, features of stable application Automating test for stable feature reduces the need of frequent script update which makes maintenance easier to manage and the last one is cross browser and cross platform testing automation allows for a efficient testing in variety of environment ensuring cross browser compatibility now we will discuss which approach is the best choice for your business how to decide between manual testing and automation testing After discussing about all the benefits, drawbacks and differences between two, in one hand manual testing makes it easier to identify minor issue whereas in other side automation testing necessitate complete test scripting and execution. Automation testing in one hand makes it easier to write test cases for unnecessary duties. The decision between manual testing and automation testing is influenced by a number of factors. including the nature of the project project requirements budget constraint and the testing goals now let's take a look at the summary finally the best approach for your company is often a combination of manual testing and automation testing each approach have advantages and disadvantages and combining their benefits in a complementary manner can improve your overall testing strategy the decision between manual and automation testing should be based on your project specific requirements goals and characteristic a well considered combination of both approaches can result in a solid testing strategies that improves efficiency coverage and overall software requirements and quality i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching and keep learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning